Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to help you to determine the polarity of NH2CO NH2 molecule. It's a chemical formula of urea. And to understand its polarity, we are first going to look at its Lewis structure followed by its molecular geometry. As you can see, there are three geometric centers in the molecule. Two are here on nitrogen, which is forming two single bonds with two hydrogen atoms and each nitrogen has lone pair attached to it. And the third geometric center is carbon that has formed double bond with oxygen atom and single bonds with these two nitrogen atoms. Now the, let us look at the electronegativity values. The electronegativity value of oxygen is 3.44, that of carbon is 2.55, that of nitrogen is 3.04 and that of hydrogen is 2.2. Now the electronegativity difference between carbon and oxygen is high enough to induce polarity in the bond. Same is in the case of nitrogen-hydrogen bond and nitrogen is more electronegative than hydrogen which will induce polarity in the bond. There will be further asymmetry in the distribution of electron cloud due to the electronegativity difference between carbon and nitrogen. This will result in the formation of poles all over the molecule. Nitrogen and oxygen will gain a partial negative charge due to more electronegative nature and carbon and hydrogen will gain partial positive charge and the presence of lone pair here will add on to the asymmetric distribution of charges. Thus, there will be a dipole moment present in this molecule which won't get cancelled or nullified in any way. Thus, we can conclude that urea is a polar molecule. Apart from that, urea easily dissolves in water and that is because water and urea both are polar in nature and only polar compounds or polar molecules can dissolve in polar solvent. This dissolution of urea in water is the proof of polarity of urea that can be seen with naked eye. For more such videos, make sure to subscribe our channel and thank you for watching.